It was during a routine trip to round up underwater instruments that Oregon State University marine ecologist Francis Chan discovered something he didn't expect. Really surprisingly, um, the oxygen levels were still really low. And in fact, what I saw just last week was the lowest that we've seen this year. When you think of low oxygen zones in the ocean, these images might come to mind. This video was taken back in 2006. It shows dead crabs littering the ocean floor, the result of no oxygen in the water. It's also called a dead zone. And it's turned out to be a really bad year. Chan has been tracking dead zones for more than a decade. Back in spring, he correctly predicted the dead zone this summer. You started this story early because we thought that we um, we might see this, and unfortunately, we were right. But what he didn't predict was just how long it would last. Low auctions, it, it, it started back in April. So it's been months and months and months, and it's, that's a really long time to hold your breath. He also didn't realize how far it would reach. Last week, OSU oceanographer Jack Barth was conducting research off the central Washington coast when he too found very little oxygen in the water. I think this late in the season, we start to expect the change to come and the winds to shift and maybe wash out some of that low oxygen water, but not yet. The result, sea life like crabs have been moving to shallower areas, causing a reshuffling of sorts in our ocean. So it really does affect how those populations are distributed along the coast. And therefore, you know, as we go out to fish, either commercially or for fun, you know, things are things are disrupted. I think the, the thing that is worrisome is that this kind of warmer, more summery weather, that's that's the shape of things to come with climate change. It's a change these scientists suspect will become the norm in our changing climate. In the meantime, they're just hoping the fall storms return things to normal, at least for a while. Hopefully the next time I talk to you, I can tell you that um, the, the 2021 hypoxia season has ended. Keely Chalmers, KGW News.